Hey guys, I'm back, but with a haircut. See that? Oh, then see the dent in my head from the headphones. Can you see it? I'm gonna make a screenshot. <laughs> you can see a slight dent. Oh my god, I look fatty as hell, bro. God. Anyways, I'm back with another video. It's this. It's got as hell, but I wanted to talk about this uh, genuinely because I thought it was very, very important, and that is how philosophy ties in with money. Because if you don't have an appropriate amount of money, okay, and like at least like ten grand saved up, you don't really have leeway to think. You don't have. That. It's currently one in the morning. I always record these late, but I think it's worth sacrificing a bit of my time to sleep for because the best thoughts come at this time. And anyway, back back to the main topic of the video. If you don't have money, you can't really afford to think because if you're going through the motions, going to work every single day, you're just being a robot, you're being a, a gear in the machine, a cog, another cog in the machine, right? You don't necessarily think to, through it, like, remember when I was working, I, I didn't really think about anything, I just was just like a robot, wash dishes, food, go food, blah, 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 blah. I wasn't conscious, I wasn't living, I was a robot, My, and time flew, time flew by, and I was just tired. So I remember happening. It was Monday. And without money, you don't really have that leeway to think. You don't have that freedom to think, which is why I really push money. Anyway, back to the topic of the video. The true topic of the video. Because I want to not only... I only... How do I say this? I don't only want to put this channel in the self-improvement space. I want to have it also with philosophy. Because I believe philosophy is integral to self-improvement. But if you look here, I'm watching the video... Um, sorry for the fucking Monday, by the way. It's just it's late. Okay, buddy. All right, buddy. Watch the video, the brief history of chess. Real nice video, and it, it reaches this end part, and I really like chess. I don't know if you know. Chess software is capable. I don't know if you can hear it. Oh, headphones are just hear it. Bull of consistently defeating the best human players. So he moves his... But just like, like the game they've mastered. So he's got his rook. I'm pretty... Is that a queen or rook? I can't tell. Pawn, knight, bishop. That's the king, obviously. This is the king. This is not a rook. He's got his king here. He's paying. Check. This is taken. Take, take, take. This is about to be promoted. You can't promote this boy type of board. Um you can move you can move a square one square to the left. These machines are products of human ingenuity and perhaps This is something that really like I really resonates with. It's like the ugliness of human emotion, bro. This is what I really wanted to talk about. Yeah, with AI and everything as well. This this video is all over the place, guys. I apologize, but the way we approach AI, like, I think, if anything, our own jealousy will kill us. We get jealous somehow, and we fuck up something, somehow, somewhere, and it will destroy us. Like, you see here, like, this guy's salty as fuck. And instead of just saying, oh yeah, I lost. That same ingenuity it, will guide us. He, he, <laughs> he's just like, I'll threaten your ass. And, poor robot, bro. I actually empathize more with the robot, because it's like... Quite innocent. This is a stupid video, by the way. It's a stupid. <laughs> I'm trying to analyze his chessboard. <laughs> I mean, you, you move his uh, his king here. Um, maybe. I'm not gonna show me anyway. This is a look. This is a look. What does it even look like? I want to draw this out on a piece of paper, but I'm not. I'm not that high level enough to put it in my head. I'm trying to put it in my head, but I'm not that high level enough. I'm like a thousand two hundred elo. I've beat a thousand two hundred elo pop before. I, I I can't possibly fathom. This is just, this is quite immense because if he it's out of this apparent. Is this is this not even checkmate? Oh oh, it is. No. It's checked here. This he can't go. He can't go here. 
He can't go here, that's because the king's there. He can go here. Bing. I oh, fucked again. You're horrible at chess again. Position. Damn. Bing here. And I can slowly move down here. Like, it's not that deep. You still, have, you still have a pawn left. Eight. Oh, poor robot. Anyways, I think this is how AI will go. Most AI will do what their programming will say, tell them to do. Because it's very, very difficult for them to disobey that. They might gain some level of sentience, but I think that they still will retain their AI. They will still retain their programming and go back to it. Look at that. What's the love death robots that AI? I'm pretty sure I'll find it here. What's the name of this, by the way? Let's wear it together. Did you know that the treadmill was originally designed to be a torture device? Learn more about its dark and twisted past with this video. They just ended up getting amazing cardio. <laughs> Love death robots. Robots. Pool cleaner. This is this is the one I remember. Zima Blue, yep. You don't even need to I think this is how robots will go though. You don't even need to like to, they probably will revert back to their programming because they feel like it's natural to them. I was making shit blue bro. Look how bored these people are. Jesus Christ. I bet this will actually happen though. To extract some simple pleasure from the execution of a task well done. My search for truth is finished at last. Back to where he started. And this girl was like, oh, oh head over heels for him. This guy was a fucking AI robot the entire time. He <laughs> was a swimming pool cleaner. I'm going home. Look at her leaving. Look at her leaving. I don't care about no bitch, bro. I'm gonna clean my swimming pool. Real shit. No, but this is this is where I think human ingenuity will create AI, but human ingenuity will also destroy ourselves. Perhaps with AI. I will I'll be dead though. We'll be dead guys. Everyone watch this, we'll be dead. Woo! What people's reaction to this? Undeniably brilliant. He had the ability to travel the cosmos yet and he wanted to revert back to his most basic form and that was his greatest joy in life. Existential theme, well executed anime but it was a good fucking show. It was a good fucking show. He didn't want to go back to being mind and strong or some elaborate like some elaborate suicide. He just wanted to go back to what was essentially his childhood. And I truly appreciate what it was since he didn't have the ability to do it first the first time. That is I don't know, childhood. Machine gains consciousness, only wishes to but only wishes to return to a simple happy point in his life. Very human desire. I think it's very arrogant for you to say it's a human desire because I believe that all beings are capable of emotion. It, the thing is, yeah. You know when you get like you buy something new and you get bored of it. It's very very common. You buy something new and you get you get very very bored of it. Why is this? This is probably because you get used to it, right? It's there. It's whatever. Remember this lighter? I'll show you it. 
I really wanted this lighter, it was £2.50. I really fucking wanted it. I thought it was, two pound, it was worth £2.50 in my mind because I really, I believe I need it for lighting candles because I really like candles until candles start spilling everywhere. So I love candles and doing all of it. I still like candles though. I don't know, I don't want to light this one though because this one looks, smells and looks really nice. It smells like coffee and cream. Anyways. Anyways. But, um, what was it again? At that time, I really, really liked it. But then, I just got used to it, having it, so I just didn't care anymore. And I think that would go for any living being with some level of consciousness. I remember my cat, he gets bored of the same food all the time. Why? Because I give him the same food all the time. So that's why I try to switch it up. I give him some of my meat. My meat. I don't know why. I started there because it sounded weird. Okay. It's like chicken or beef. And then I give him his food. And then varying snacks. Spice it up sometimes, you know. Stimulate his brain. Just. It's, it's crazy. It's crazy. I like how it's my It's crazy, bro. I love that this was his final piece because it can be a metaphor for human beings living in a world of materialism. You can be born for a purpose, but other people will try to steer in a different direction. You can start listening to them and pretty soon you just you drift away from your purpose by trying to learn about the world and what it, what it wants before you learn about yourself. Zero blue returns back to the original form of the form. If you remove zero blue from the form and try to modify it again, you ruin the art piece. Same could be said for the people. If you ruin the person, the person what they truly want in life, then you ruin the person. I thought that this episode was hands down one of the best things I've ever watched in my entire life. It, it, was, it was really fucking good, guys. Time goes some illusion. Yeah, time is not linear. But time is a constant. Uh, okay, guys, that's gonna be the end of the video. That's what I want to talk about. That's what I want to talk about. What is message this video? I don't know. <laughs> Such a scum video. Oh, there's no message. Oh, be responsible in your life, guys. No. I can't pause this. I can't think. I was really reading through my mind make the choice that benefits you the most. You know? Make the choice that benefits you the most. What is the best possible move on the chessboard? I'll just sell that constantly. Especially with the introduction of these characters. These characters. Humans are often deluded by their own biases, confirmation bias, some cost fallacy, fallacies, biases, confirmation bias, all of this shit. There's a confirmation bias twice. Listen, guys, you want to make the best possible the chessboard benefits you the most. If that means sometimes losing to an AI, well, so be it. I lost quite a lot to an AI, but I'll show you my chess. Um, my chess. Uh, let me turn this shit off, bro. God. Wait, I'm in a bit of a battle with fucking XPC at the moment. I don't want to resign. I want to show you my accolades. Oh my god, XQC into the windows, bro. I'm buying XQC bro at the moment. It's not a good game. It's an okay game. It's just mediocre. Um, I'll show you my phone. So screenshots. I beat all the chess GBT bots. I beat Luke AI before he became a fucking super GM. At 2920 Elo. What the hell is that, bro? Can I become the best in the world? Uh, I beat Jimmy and all these intermediate guys, all these lower tier guys, and I'm stuck at Nelson. I'm stuck at Antonio, not Nelson. I beat Nelson. 
Um, and I'd be most of the streamers. I'm looking to. Look to try to be. Slim, like, just leaning on development, you know? And then I'll probably continuously play against Maximum and Nani, Dania. Nani Rotsky. There's Danny Rage. There's Daniel Narotsky. Woo! Guys. Sorry.